a man ended up in intensive care after brewing a tea for magic mushrooms and injecting it into his bloodstream. The man had a history of opioid dependence and bipolar disorder, and his family noted that he had recently stopped adhering to his bipolar medications. In search of relief from his symptoms, he went online and found reports about potential therapeutic effects of hallucinogens. This included psilocybin, which is the active ingredient in magic mushrooms. So the man brewed some magic mushrooms into a tea, filtered that substance with cotton, and injected it into his veins. Typically, when people take shrooms recreationally, they may drink this tea or eat the mushrooms in a dried, raw, or powdered form. They do not inject it. In the days after injecting the mushroom tea, the man became lethargic and nauseated, and his skin began to yellow. He then developed diarrhea and began vomiting blood. At this point, his family found him and took him to the emergency department, and they also noted that he was in a very confused state. Soon, the man needed to be treated for multi-system organ failure and was transferred to the ICU. His blood tested positive for both a bacterial infection and a fungal infection with the very mushroom he had injected into his veins. After 22 days in the hospital, the man was released on a long-term regimen of antibiotic and antifungal drugs, thankfully having survived the ordeal. Now in general, psilocybin, again, the active ingredient in magic mushrooms, has been shown to be a promising treatment for depression and substance abuse disorders, but it is not approved for any of these purposes as of yet. In most places in the US, it is still an illicit substance. 